Lizzie Osama snapped on DJ Academics. I'm not gonna lie. You know, normally artists be snapping on academics, and I kind of understand where the artists come from. Blogging is a little irritating. But I think Lil Zay might have won this argument, you know, basically talking about how academics was doing bad videos about him, uh, not putting the parenthesis of allegedly on his videos. Uh, putting the caption as if he did these things, you know, he was saying basically, you don't got no problem with you doing the video, just make sure you put the allegedly in it. Uh, he was saying things like, you know, you basically owe me an apology. And when you think about what Zay saying, he kind of got a credence to what he was saying now. What he's saying is, think about it. He said he never left a gun in an Uber with a switch on it. That was a lie. That if it was a gun with a switch on it in there, that it wasn't his. He don't know where that came from. He's saying, look, if I had a gun, it would have had my prints on it. This would have been a closed cut case, shut down. There's no way I would have get this case dismissed. I'd be coming home or uh, any of this. What he's saying is he 100% sure that he didn't get this case. He's saying that once he told the world this, you still putting videos up where the case is still pending and shit. He say that's some police shit. Take his word for it. The case is over with. I get that, because I do believe if he left that gun in there with a switch, uh, he'll have his prints on it. You know, police, this would be an open shut case. <laughs> Hands down, locked. You know, Lizzie seemed pretty confident that he didn't know what this was. He even left the laugh out loud, you know, uh, letters in his message to academics, which I thought was strong. He also talked about when academics was saying, you going to need me more than I need you and shit like that. He said, look, I made it this far without you. I think I can go even further without you. I think that's very strong, you know. I think that was very strong, uh, him saying that, because they has made it, you know, pretty far in this music industry without, you know, so much of academics posting about him and shit like that. He said, you know, I believe this guy owed me an apology. You know, you're posting these videos without the allegedly in it. It's making it feel like he did these things. I totally agree with that to a certain extent. You know, I think Zay might got one up on him like this. I think academics went a little too hard on a power play. I think he got irritated because Zay kind of pinpointed him out, made him stand out the crowd of people doing these videos without the allegedly title. So I get it. I don't think this big, though. I can tell you right now, I can see Lil Zay and Academics sitting down discussing this. But I wanted to bring that to your attention, that I think Lil Zay had a strong point in what he was saying. Do y'all agree with Zay, or do you agree with DJ Academics? I'd love to know what y'all think. Leave a comment. It's the homie Truth Tell the Street Reporter. Blah, blah.